today I've got some Reese's Pieces, some crinkle fries, a blueberry muffin, um, a potato, um, some ham, some buffalo chicken, some chicken, some Chinese stuff, and I've even got one of these like cheese roll thingies, and I've even got popcorn. Well, anyways, I'm going to eliminate one item from this food pile, and that is the container. Also, I already moistened some of the popcorn with soda. I'm going to take away this container, by the way, because I want to see if the crows are maybe afraid of this. And possibly that's why they aren't coming as much anymore. But we're going to see how this goes. There was one day where I had a container and, and a crow actually came and it ate some... What was it? It would be, ate a blueberry muffin. It, ate, it actually ate a, pieces of a blueberry muffin. I couldn't believe it. For the very first time ever, I've never seen a crow eat that much of a blueberry muffin. I've seen it eat like a tiny little piece of ice of icing it and then it would go for like other food items like the popcorn and Reese's but I've never seen it actually eat a blueberry muffin before so that was the first but we'll see what the crows end up getting into today because I'm it's so interested in knowing about them and I kind of felt depressed last night because just I did research and on the all about birds website and it just some of the things just saddened me it just saddens me to compare two species of birds, house bears and crows, two typical table scrap eating birds that you can find in like the city and yet people don't find house bears to be a nuisance at all and people, people actually enjoy those birds and the fact that they feed out of your hand and everything. Crows don't feed out people's hands, I've never heard, heard of such a thing. But I did read one person's blog one day a few months ago that a crow actually but he actually pe actually pet a crow one time, but I think that was like in like the, a forested area or at least somewhere somewhere where they're they've gotten used to just him, but not like ordinary people that have killed them or done any harm to them or anything. I just think their intelligence just gets you know up uh, at a certain level, at a certain boiling point, and that's why it's they are like the way they are. Same with blue jays. You know, blue jays are, 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 are pretty intelligent too because they're corvids and yet they're just as afraid as people as the crows are. They, 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 I mean, I mean, they have gotten pretty close to me. I, my grandma said that one day it got like inches away from me as I was saying the food out one day. It grabbed a piece of popcorn from right behind me. I, I mean, I couldn't believe it when she told me but it was inches behind me and it grabbed it like very quick. It was only on the ground for like a few seconds and then left. I don't think a crow would want to spend a few seconds just grabbing one little piece of item. I just, yeah, they're just different, that's all. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and stop blabbing on and I'm going to go ahead and start this. Oh, Grandma. The tape must have fell off. The tape must have fell off. Uh, okay. Now we'll start. As soon as I get the, this tape.